So here we have a lovely parcel that's just arrived from SX Pro and it is huge, to be honest. Um, it is the Trinov uh, MC, I think it's the MC Pro um, Dante version. I just wanted to, whilst I've got it here, just do a quick unboxing of it and uh, show you kind of what's in there, what it does. God, it's heavy. Right, let's turn this around. God, I hate unboxing. There we go, right. So, we have inside the box, oh blimey, this isn't the best thing to do an unboxing of. So what I'm gonna do, ah, it is massive. So we've already got one of these Trinovs in this Dolby Atmos studio, but we're building another Dolby Atmos studio because Dolby Atmos quite simply is proving to be um, with the future, let's just say. Um, every person who um, is anybody is ordering Dolby Atmos with their mastering, is ordering Dolby Atmos for their mixing uh, because it is, um, like I said before, the future. And some people might say different, but the majority of people will say it is. So, comes in a lovely little, uh, I think they call these, what are they, Hessian bags? Comes in a little bag to keep it all safe. And what we have here is the Dante version. Now you can get, this is obviously a 16 channel because we're working in large kind of multi-channel multi format. Uh, we need a 16 channel because in here we've got a 9.1.4, which is nine speakers, two subs, so that takes us up to 11, and then we need four on the ceiling, which gives us 15 channels. So we've actually got one spare, but 15 channels of uh, room correction. Now, what the Trinov is, and that is it there. So what the Trinov is, is we can connect it via Dante, We've got Dante, LX Dante card here. And this card will connect this unit to our Dante network. I'm gonna put it down, because you've seen that's that's basically all you need to see. It's just basically, you power it on and away you go. So what the Trinov is, God, is very heavy. Um, what the Trinov basically does is you send your outputs from your interface goes out to your Trinov. Once it hits your Trinov, your Trinov is set, you can set, set it up with uh, the 3D mic to correct the room. And what's ba what it's basically doing is it's making sure that every one of these speakers hit this sweet spot, which would be where I'm standing. It hits my head exactly the same points in time. So you get no phase. And when you're talking about 15 speakers, nobody nobody human will be able to technically create a perfect room with no phase with 15 speakers it's it's, it's it might be possible but i mean i'm not going to stand there for um countless amounts of weeks and months making sure to bang on in phase every single time um it would be very very hard you would be have to be so technically um gifted in, in being able to detect that. Um, so that's what a Trinov will do. It, it will get every single speaker to hit you at the right point. Um, with, with certain delay compensation between speakers, it will do all of that for you. For instance, in this room, we've got uh, PMC 140s across the front, and then we've got PMC 65s across the back. Um, because we don't need as powerful speakers as we do in the LCR, um, we can use kind of smaller speakers at the back because they're, they're a lot less um, a lot less essential. Um, so we've we've got 65s at the back, which have a slightly different frequency to the um, to the ones at the front. So what the Trinov will also do is it will correct for the back speakers to make them the same, so that when we pan around a room like that, we get a perfect join of of audio from there all the way around to there, whereas if you had the Trinov off, the the sound coming from here, you can you can noticeably tell 
that the um, the audio is going from these speakers into these speakers. Put a Trinov in, you don't get that. You have this seamless kind of uh, movement around. Um, the other things the Trinov will do is it will generally just correct your room perfectly. And I know this myself. I've got one sitting down there for this room. Um, this second one is, is for our, our next Dolby Atmos room. But I know myself how important a Trinov is. And it is so important because like, if I turn mine off, I, I've got the app on, on here and I can just literally switch on and off. And the difference is that when it's on, I know it's perfect. I can hear that the sound is perfect. There's no phase in the room. There's no kind of, um, the EQ of the whole room is, is perfectly right. To how it should sound so i'm making the eq adjustments uh whilst mixing perfectly to what it should sound like and what it physically does sound like when i turn the um trinov off um the mix the mix becomes a lot brighter so when it's off the mix is massively bright and it has a lot less low end um the back of the back of the room is a lot quieter than the front of the room so if we just look at EQ and how the room sounds when it's it's turned off, it becomes a lot brighter. So what happens is that when if I have if I have the Trinov off, I am undercompensating. I think it would be undercompensating for the top end. So the top end sounds brighter, but it's not brighter. So it's like let's say for argument's sake, it's it's six dB louder. It's got a 6 dB kind of uh, bump in the top end that gives it a bit more sparkle. But that's not true. It doesn't actually have that. That's the thing here. It's The sound is actually 6 dB lower in the top end. But when I have the Trinov off, it's 6 dB louder. But it's not accurate. So what I'm doing is I'm thinking, when I'm EQing, I'm thinking, yeah, it's bright. It's bright enough. It's perfect bright enough. Um, I don't need to EQ the top because it's it's if anything I need to put um, re uh, EQ reduction um, on the top end, but that's not true. When you have the Trinov in, you make the correct decisions because in fact it could be that it's not bright enough because the Trinov makes me know and it it tells me that it's 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 right. So what I'm hearing when I've got the Trinov active. Is, is correct. Whereas when it's not active, I've got like a 6 dB bump in the top end. So I'm EQing differently, which isn't correct. So then when it goes on to playback onto another system, on another system, it might sound like it's got, you know, too much top end. Whereas that system is, is correct. Um, so that's how important um, the Trinov is. And the other thing I will mention as well is, is in regards to the phase is I know in this room, and obviously this isn't, this isn't, um, 100%, um, with all rooms and, uh, but this room is built ridiculously well. Um, and this, so if I move from here, the front of the front wall and I pan round to here there's a point here when the Trinov's off there's a point here where it gets a bit phasey it's, it's basically where we have the uh, left speakers and the kind of far left speakers when it gets round there it becomes phasey and it's it's it becomes phasey because the speakers are close together and um, they're not time, time aligned. Um, so this speaker is hitting me quicker than this speaker only by minuscule amounts, but that, that ultimately does cause phase. Now, the problem you've got with that is when the Trinov's bypassed, you pan round to here and you go, Oh no, that don't sound right. We'll pan a bit further or we'll pan a bit closer. So you, you miss this point. You, you purposely don't put sound here when the Trinov's off, but when you have the Trinov on and everything's corrected time aligned correctly, what you pat you put stuff there because it sounds right there and ultimately it does sound right there but when the trinov's off it doesn't so it's not that when the trinov's off oh that's how it's going to sound to the end user that's not how it's going to sound to the end user when the trinov's on that's how it's sounding to the end user so it's perfectly fine to have panned there but when the trinov's off you think that that area there 
is a bad spot to put the sound in, but it's not. So there's multiple reasons why a Trinov is so important. And I, I, um, I, I you know, I, I, I'm um, on a lot of these kind of um, Dolby Atmos uh, forums and groups, and I, I read through and look at other people's studios. And I look at some studios, and they've just got kind of, um, you know, a standard desk with speakers on the desk, and then kind of speakers on stands around the room, and um, they haven't got Trinovs fitted. And I, I, I look at these rooms and I go, "Wow, that's going to sound bad." It's really, and it does. Uh, and uh, without even going into that room, I can, I can look at that. I can look at the speaker configuration and just be like, "That is going to sound bad without a Trinov." And that's because I know how a great setup of of these speakers. Um, and a great room. I know how how different it sounds with a Trinov on and a Trinov off. That I know how important it is to have um, a Trinov in your studio. That is why, like all my studios, have Trinovs fitted because they're you know they are just so important. And like I I did an interview with Trinov recently, and um, I I basically said in this interview is like you know. How much is it worth for you to hear perfect audio? You know, these these aren't these aren't cheap. They're like twelve thousand pound. But as a service, as a as a as a as a studio that's providing a mixing service or a mastering service, how, how like twelve thousand pounds? Nothing compared to you having perfect audio. You have something that that. Um, that the the producer doesn't like. Most producers aren't going to spend twelve grand on a Trinov. They're just not because it's it. You know they've got a stereo pair of speakers or, or even six grand on the ST two. They're just not going to spend that. <clears throat> but how important is it from from my perspective? It's it's massively important because I then have that reassurance for the client that what I hear and what what's being played back in this room is perfect and it's correct and it's right and it's it's like um it 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 gives our clients the reassurance that that what we hear is is bang on correct so we make the right decisions whereas what they hear isn't bang on correct so they aren't making the right decisions so it already gives us an upper hand in the sense that um as from a service point of view that what we can provide is is so superior because we're hearing it so much better than what they can hear it at home. So, I mean, that is the Trinov. Here it is. It is a heavy duty unit. And that is the uh, Trinov MC Pro. This is the Dante version. And um, I mean, I, I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, fitting Trinovs in every studio. Um, Stereo, Dolby Atmos, any studio, put one in. They are so good. Expensive, but that's because they are so good.